COVID has been a tremendous impact on everything. With Hawaii being so restricted, we cannot even have our spectators or our parents come out to watch them. It's been tough, you know, we haven't played in over two years. I'm a senior, so I missed out on my junior season. I just miss being on the field again and being able to play the sport that I love. Well, it's gonna be hard, but I know I can do it. I can help people, never give up on others. They're good kids, they're good people, the families are tight. They have a lot of adversity. Woo! Some of them, school lunch is their only meal of the day. This season is just bringing the school closer together and we hope the community. The kids called me, they wanted to train. So I said, 6.30 every morning and they're here. A lot of the people here, uh, they're kind of like family. I know that's cliche, but I've grown close to a lot of these guys. I'm just gonna introduce these people real quick. Maggie and Toki are from Seven Box Production. Um, I'll let them do all of the talking. We have a little surprise for you, so we're just gonna jump right in. All right, surprise, surprise, surprise. <laughs> this one goes out to my family, my Ohana, my Ainga, all my football brothers there at McKinley High School. I wanna send you guys a quick shout out to say that um, number one, I'm proud of you. Last year was tough, this year is tough too as well. You guys are uh, working hard, you're doing the best you can, uh, trying to fight through challenging situations. I know, I understand, I get it. I completely understand, but here's the thing. You guys have an opportunity in front of you. This is a big week of you guys being a student athlete. Student athlete, not athlete student, but student athlete because even with all the distractions that you guys have going on, and there's a lot, and I understand that, uh, there's challenges too as well. Uh, this is gonna be the week uh, to determine whether or not you're eligible to get on that field and put your hand in the dirt and go face to face with whoever that opponent is um, and go one on one and prove how great you guys can be. Understand the opportunity that you have in front of you and get that work done as a student because you wanna be on that field, especially this year, especially this season. It's gonna be a big season for McKinley, big season for you guys. And look, you know, it was many, many moons ago that your Uncle Rock, <laughs> I was there too as well. I was playing on that field at McKinley High School. And I'll tell you something, our freshman year, after practice, we worked our asses off. The coach would come in right before we went to shower and he would always drop advice on us. And one thing he used to say every day, uh, wound up being not only so profound, but it also wound up being the kind of advice that we took, we all took, for the rest of our lives. He looked at us and he said, hey, wash your balls. <laughs> it's a true story what he said, uh, but it was great advice. My point to you guys isn't to do that. You already know to do that, but uh, I just wanted to make you guys laugh and smile. <laughs> it was great advice that I did take with me for the rest of my life. My, my point to you guys is this. Yes, do what my coach said to do. Just as importantly than that, be the hardest workers in the room. That's how you're gonna get ahead. And don't let your current situation, if you got it tough, if you got it challenged uh, at home or your surroundings are challenged, I get it, I get it, I've been there. We were evicted off the island in Hawaii. A lot of you guys know that story. So look, I've been there, but don't let your surroundings be the excuse. Make sure your surroundings are the reason. The reason to push more, the reason to fight for more, the reason to be hardest workers in the room, the best on the field, and the reason to dream big. And it's okay to dream big, it's okay to want more. And that's what I want for you guys, okay? When you're from the islands, it's that aloha spirit, that mana that comes from in here. That's who we are. You guys epitomize my favorite quote. It's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. So enjoy this night, enjoy the surprises that I have for you guys, all the Project Rock gear that I have for you guys. Yeah. Thank you, Uncle Rock. We love you. Uncle Pebble! All right, I love you guys. Have a great season. Kick ass. And, um, and do it right. Go McKinley! We just wanted to perform Holy Mahalo for you guys. Uh, to show our thanks. Ooh, hola, ia. Ooh, hola, ia, kamakaloala. Ooh, 
To give back to people he doesn't even know, tremendous. Uh, Dwayne Johnson, thank you so much for all the gear. I really appreciate that. The whole team appreciates that. And it's the first time I had Bluetooth earphones. I don't feel poor. <laughs> I know a lot of our gear out here is a little bit old. It feels good to be wearing something fresh and new. What he has done and given to them, the love, the aloha, yeah. he's amazing. He's, we're thankful, very grateful. Yes. Yeah. Aloha.